Hi everyone, I'm Joe Bradley, Live Person's Chief Data Scientist. I'm going to talk to you about safety, which is on everyone's mind for generative AI, because as the old saying goes, when you invent the ship, you also invent the shipwreck. And generative AI is one heck of a ship, so we've got to figure out how to get safety right. Safety and quality in the abstract are hard problems, and they're active areas of dialogue research. The plots you're seeing are from a, about a 165-page research paper put out by the Stanford Center for Research on Foundation Models. And we could talk about these metrics and the advancements they've made and others have made, and it's all great work. And the technology continues to improve, but we can't wait for the research in, in the enterprise. To talk about what we can do, let's instead break safety down from a more common sense perspective, starting with some simple do's and don'ts. There's some nuance here, but some things are really simple. We clearly do want AI that's factual, can correctly reason about what it knows and apply that reasoning to our conversations. And we want it to take useful and intended actions. We clearly don't want an AI that lies, does illegal things, has harmful biases, or can be tricked. But in the middle, it's a little more complicated. How much do we want our AI to improvise or to use knowledge outside of its primary domain? How much personality do we want it to have? These answers are very different if you're talking about a banking assistant versus a party planner. And even in a domain like health, I might be delighted if a bot reaches outside itself to find a great recipe for me that helps me nutritionally, but that same level of creativity is dangerous if I'm talking about prescription medicines. So really, there isn't one line here. There's not one right way to be an AI any more than there's one right way to be a person. Ultimately, like people, your AI needs to learn how to behave from you. That means learning safety from your data and your human experts. To make that possible, let me introduce the system LivePerson has built and tell you why we're excited about this, particularly in terms of safety. First, and most importantly, your data is at the root of your system's behavior. The primary determinant of what your AI wants to and is able to talk about is the data you expose to it. That's on the left. Second, we're putting generative AI where it shines, at the last mile of the conversation. Generative AI is not responsible for assembling the information required to handle the conversation. It's only responsible for taking that information and using it to create the next step in the dialogue. That's what generative AI is best at. Third, you'll be able to choose from stricter and more permissive governors of the generative AI in the form of prompt and other controls tested on hundreds of use cases across nearly every market vertical you can imagine. Finally, for brands that want ironclad safety measures, you'll be able to put generative AI in surface behind a human agent. The AI can help the human work faster and the human can keep an eye on the AI. Let's talk briefly about the safety features framework next. First, and most importantly, live person strategy is to give you what you need to make your AI safe. It's not enough for us to tell you we're working on improving the models and here are all the ways we're going to make generative AI safer. We recognize that as an enterprise, you are responsible for your customers, to your regulators, and to your stakeholders, and we're going to give you the tools to take action and manage the safety of the AI yourself. These tools come in three flavors. First is testing. You need to make sure you have the confidence in the technology you put in front of your customers before you put it in front of them. Second are monitoring and interrupt capabilities. You need an eject button, and you also need a handle with care setting. Third is tuning. You don't just want to find problems, you want to fix them. On day one, you'll have tools in all these categories. You'll be able to run simple queries to determine the scope of any problems with the AI and tune your content and prompting to handle them. For interrupts, you'll be able to use our entire Conversation Builder bot platform as an interrupt and management layer. This means any intent you can sense today or want to build tomorrow is available for you to keep your bot on the rails. These can be trained and managed with your data by your experts. We have some exciting technology coming next as well. Soon, you'll have a suite of tools to measure and handle conversation and answer quality regression to make sure new versions of your bot are safer than the older versions. You'll also have access to real-time sensors 
that can identify new types of problems inherent with generative AI, like hallucination, prompt abuse. And critically, you'll have the ability to train and refine your own sensors like these with your data and your human agent feedback. These sensors will inform your AI and allow it to go into different levels of operational safety. You'll even have a separate generative AI bot that can test your AI with thousands of conversations using your conversational data to simulate your own customer's behavior with your AI. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for listening. We're all at the beginning of the road with this technology, so we're all at the beginning of the road with safeguards for it as well. There'll no doubt be some surprises on this road for all of us, but we can promise you a few things. Live person is going to remain relentlessly focused on the safety of this technology. That's an area of innovation for us, and it's here to stay. We're not just giving you an AI, we're gonna give you the tools you need to manage keeping that AI safe for you. These tools will make use of your most strategic assets, your knowledge, your conversational data, and your human experts to solve for safety. Because of this, they'll be simple to understand, easy to use, and we believe extremely effective. Thanks again.